Hi friends today's topic of discussion is from subject environmental studies, part 1, of Maharashtra state for standard 4, chapter 4 water safe for drinking. Let's see the answers to the exercise questions. Exercise question number, A, use your brain power. Some Rava has got mixed with Sago pearls or Sabudana. What sieve should we use to separate the two the one that allows Rava to pass through or the one that allows Sago? Answer. The particle size of Rava is smaller than Sago pearls, so we shall use the sieve that allows Rava to pass through. The Sago pearls will remain in the sieve and thus the two will get separated. Let's see the next question. Exercise question number, B, answer the following questions. Question number 1. Name the substances used to make the solution called lemon sherbet. Answer. The substances used to make the solution called lemon sherbet are lemon, sugar, salt, and water. Next question. Question number 2. Why is it that water that looks clean and transparent may not be fit for drinking? Answer. Water that looks clean and transparent may not be fit for drinking because harmful microorganisms, that cannot be seen with naked eyes may be present in water. These microorganisms if entered our body can cause us diseases and can be harmful for our health. Next question. Question number three. When making a sherbet, what do we do to make sugar dissolve quickly? Answer. When making a sherbet, we stir with a spoon so that the sugar dissolves quickly in the water. Next question. Question number four. Does oil float on water or sink in it? Answer. Oil floats on water as oil is lighter than water. Let's see the next question. Exercise question number, C, complete the table. Question number 1. Write the information you obtained from the floating sinking experiment. Repeat the experiment with other things besides those mentioned in the lesson. Write their names, too, in the proper places in the table. First let's discuss the things given in the lesson. From your compass box, a plastic ruler, an eraser, a pencil, a sharpener, a rubber band, the compass. Eraser, sharpener, and compass sink. Plastic ruler, pencil, and rubber band float. From your house, a steel spoon, a plastic spoon, some ground nut shells, an iron nail, a screw, a coin. Steel spoon, iron nail, screw and coin sink. Plastic spoon and ground nut shells float. From outdoors, stones, little twigs, leaves, soil. Stones and soil sink. Little twigs and leaves float. Now let's discuss other things besides those mentioned in the lesson. Brick, metal key, tennis ball, ice. Brick and metal key sink. Tennis ball and ice float. Next question. C. Complete the table. To repeat the experiment in the lesson related to dissolving using some other substances. Make a table and fill in your findings in it. First let's discuss the things given in the lesson. Sugar, common salt, washing soda, powdered alum, sand, sawdust, turmeric powder, oil, wheat flour. 
sugar, common salt, washing soda, and powdered alum dissolve in water. Sand, sawdust, turmeric powder, oil and wheat flour do not dissolve in water. Now let's discuss other substances besides those mentioned in the lesson. Antacid tablet, wax. Antacid tablet dissolve in water. Wax do not dissolve in water. Let's see the next question. Exercise question number, D, fill in the blanks. Question number 1. Substances like salt and sugar dash after some time when added to water. Answer is substances like salt and sugar dissolves after some time when added to water. Question number 2. The mixture obtained on dissolving a substance in water is called a dash. Answer is the mixture obtained on dissolving a substance in water is called a solution. Question number 3. ORS is an example of dash solutions. Answer is ORS is an example of useful solutions. Question number 4. All microorganisms are not useful. Some can cause dash if they enter our body. Answer is all microorganisms are not useful. Some can cause diseases if they enter our body. Question number 5. Things that float in water are dash than it and things that sink are dash than it. Answer is things that float in water are lighter than it and things that sink are heavier than it. Question number 6. A substance called dash is swirled in muddy water to help clean the water. Answer is a substance called alum is swirled in muddy water to help clean the water. Let's see the next question. Exercise question number, E, true or false? Question number 1. Alum powder does not dissolve in water. The statement is false question number 2. Microorganisms cannot live in water. The statement is false question number 3. If muddy water remains still, a sediment is formed at its bottom. The statement is true question number 4. An eraser floats in water. The statement is false question number 5. Tea leaves can be separated from tea by filtration. The statement is true. Let's see the next question. Exercise question number F. How can we tell that water has become transparent? Answer. Transparency is the physical property of allowing light to pass through the material without much scattering of light. Transparent materials appear clear. We can tell that water has become transparent by doing a simple check or experiment. Take some water in a glass and keep an object on one side of the glass. Now try to see through the glass from the other side of the gas. If we can clearly see the object through the glass, we can say that the water in the glass is transparent. With that today's topic exercise questions from subject Environmental Studies of Maharashtra State for Standard 4, Chapter 4 Water Safe for Drinking is completed. Please like, comment, share, subscribe and hit the bell for new videos thanks for watching. We will meet in the next video very soon till then goodbye.